がとうございましたでは失礼しますフュー、This should be most boxes then I wipe the sweat off my heart my forehead with my arm as the moving truck disappeared from view although it was early April and only the beginning of spring today's weather was quite nice it was even a bit hot well it's a good day for a new start <coughs> excuse me I turned my head to look at the empty bakery which didn't even have any signs yet The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There was also a large window which let s lots of sunlight in. And finally, there were the words that displayed the name of the bakery, La Solil. Instead of the proper French article, La, it was La Solil, meaning the sun. I get it, because due to the large window, a lot of sunlight c o m e in, so the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one will tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the stature of my family's day, but everything that happened up until now. <sighs> I also alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. Alright. In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped in into the new smelling bakery. And just woke up as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, what's with this big box? In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them fragile, delicate, absolutely the side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. Kind of escalating, don't you think? The w a r n i n g s were going overboard. Yeah, they are. They were getting annoying. Even if these are bacon supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, they were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If they were for the bakery, there's no doubt I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All there was were those warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I get. once I open the. That one's moving. Huh? That just sneezed. Mmm. No! Mmm. Alright then. Huh. It's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Like that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? Chocola? No. <laughs>、oh. <laughs> so, no, oh, he's a shibari, this one, go to Jin Sama. I'm just staring at what looks like her ears. She cat. We just saw each other at home yesterday, you know. To the rest of my things, you are heavy.、Mm. She ignored what I said. Okay, that's good. Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. You could say that was always happy go lucky? The hell is happy go lucky? 
Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that was how you'd describe Chocola. Alright then. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Another one? Hey. Like yeah, you are definitely cats. Tails and all. And your name's Vanilla? Chocolate and Vanilla? Wow. <laughs> Why is Vanilla here too? Can't have chocolate without Vanilla. Cat girls, so that's what they are. Alright. <laughs> that bland expression, though. <laughs> Again, huh? In any case, chocolate and vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wits end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocolate and Vanilla got out of the boxes. Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shigure doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that Chocolate and Vanilla have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. You don't say. <laughs> they can understand words and talk just like us. Clearly. But more than humans, cat girls were closer than all the cats. After all, cat girls ha had ears and tails just like cats do. Yeah. They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly, commonly referred to as cat girls. These days, cat girls fit into society as pets and families or partners to humans. My little sister, sister really loves to, um, dote on cat girls. So our family has six, including chocolate and vanilla. That's a lot. Of and in any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible for one thing. <sighs> There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I can only guess that there was somehow Shigure is doing. I see. So Shigure was an accomplice then. Damn little sisters. Wow. First time with a visual novel. I never expected to have like little motions like that. ご主人の会社をばっちり。バニラ、<laughs> Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves! Hi. Hi. Without any ill intentions, the two cackles are off and running. Well, the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, we aren't young cackles anymore either, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that, I look up an address in my phone's address book. Mini Dookie Residence. Mina. Mina Dookie. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it properly. Well, I already, already left Sugar in a message, so she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. Wait, who are we gonna call? Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I had moved out without saying anything. Okay, that's bad manners. So, for her to call me back within the day seemed a bit stupid. Hmm. 
Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Shigure soon, anyhow. Do you hope so? Little close, aren't you? <laughs> you graded the bed? <laughs> Good work, you two. Gosh, both of you have major bed hair. Sheesh. Just like cats. I tidy up their hair with a comb. The soft hair felt nice, as always. I lightly bonked them both on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding amongst me? Among my moving boxes. You had no choice? Just tagged along? You two. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? Ugh. This isn't vacation or a picnic. Shit. Oh. I moved out because I have no intentions of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigure and the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you two just. Someone's hungry. While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw it was already past one o'clock. Speaking of which... Oh shit, it's 1.30. <laughs> now that I thought about it, I haven't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? These two uh, were as easy going as always. Hmm. Intermission. Nekopara. She's like aging closer and closer. <laughs> You'll bother those around us, so try not to get too carried away, you two. Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there were an ar array of stores that there was. There. there was even a drugstore with daily necessities amongst them. If you got me here, we have just about everything. That was how the real estate agent had recommended this place to me. Hmm. What a way to reel them in. Wait, don't you two go shopping with Shigure often? Hey, first of all, Shigure is your master. Shigure-chan is Shigure-chan, but Shigure-chan is Shigure-chan. It's not the same. 
ねね理屈になってないけど熱意は伝わるさすがはショコラパチパチパチ Never mind then. Anyhow, keep it down inside the store, okay? I parted from the two of them. I decided to hurry on ahead. Be sure if they follow. But that's stuff for you two to use. I don't need it, so put it down and come over here. <laughs> what was that? Don't just say that and then toss that in the basket like all non chantily. I had to be on guard or they would sneak something in when I wasn't paying attention. They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. Wow, sneaky. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they decided to come along. You're gonna do it again. It was nothing to do with being honest, I'm telling you. Wait, it's nothing to do with being honest. I'm telling you, don't just put the shampoo in the basket like that, put it back. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Don't put on some act to confuse the customers around us. Seriously, we only just moved here, but suddenly we had already we already had disapproving glares directed at us. That escalated very quickly. I'm not a cheap skate. Besides, I nearly got reported. Oh, you nearly did, yeah. After that, it was the same sort of exchange at the supermarket. The whole thing was so awkward that I don't think I can visit the, that shopping district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that was a cute side of cat girls. It definitely does. What is this smell? Speaking of food, I'm really hungry. I turned towards the source of it. A little one. Takoyaki? What's that? What's Takoyaki? And Bonito? It was a cat girl younger than chocolate and vanilla. She waved her tiny hands as she politely drew customers in. In human terms, she looked like she was about 12 or 13 years old. In cat years, she was about 6 months old. Oh wow. I wonder if they live as long as humans. Hmm. Probably not. The young cat girl noticed us and ran over. They're getting along very well. Not at all. 
The owner of the food stand greeted us. Yes, I am. Uh, well, to be more exact, my sister is the owner. What, little sister? Seven months old. I guess they don't live as long as humans. The food stand I know had a weary smile on her face, like she was talking about a mischievous child of hers. At that glance, it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it made it easy to overlook these things. Mine were originally strays, so I don't actually know how old they are. Hmm. The veterinarian said they were twins and were now about nine months old. Wow. My little sister is actually quite the education freak. <laughs> Might grow up to be a teacher or something, I guess. Back then, they were really noisy, but it was all worth it. しくれ、厳しい。でも、おかげさまでいろいろと覚えた。そうなんだ。いいご主人様なのね。あ、でもご主人様はご主人様なんです。しくれちゃんはしくれちゃんですから。ね、ご主人様。通訳すると、しくれ
As they hung their heads, I rubbed them from behind. I took a little a look at the little takiyaki sailor. Okay, three orders of takiyaki. Can you do that for me? Takoyaki, mitsu? Her large eyes blinked as she tilted her head in confusion. Yeah, for me, chocolate and vanilla. Oh, that's good. Could you do that for me? Hi, takoyaki mitsu desu ne? It's going to take time to get home and make food after all. Besides, I want to take the takiyaki here too. I'll try. ちくでがいつも積んでる実験はいいものです。と言ってるだけのことある。ウェイ、ウォンドザーメイン。はいはい。じゃあこっちにあるメニュー好きなトッピングと味選んでね。うちの猫が遊んでもらった分サービスさせ
don't know how things are going to turn out. I've got to do, I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how things will turn out. With things, with all that um that's going on, I don't know if I can take care of you two. Get it? I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. It was a quiet voice I could barely hear. Chocolate said something with her head down. Hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. She's gonna blow. Predicted. What? Well, uh, wait, hey, Chuckler. <laughs> oh, wait, stop. Finna, why are you running away too? Why that? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's dangerous. Stop running around. If you fall, you'll get hurt. Maybe so in Chocolate's case, but aren't you bad with physical activity? Come on, I've got you now, Chocolate. Oh, <laughs> I, I am not. It's just, it's because you two are running around. Hey, uh, stop it. You're still going to run? Okay, I've got you, Vanilla. What? Chocolate, stop! Really stop! <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm not gonna try that laugh. <laughs> like I said, stop running! <laughs> the two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. I guess they really wanted to waste time. And that was how the first night went. Oh. <laughs> For now... I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. I don't have guest beds or, fo or futons, okay? Wait, hold on, before I continue. Yeah. I don't have guest beds or futons, okay? While that was happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. Wow, an hour of explaining. Even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. The one glimmer of hope I had, that Shigure would call me back, didn't happen. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. Cleverly, they had even brought pajamas. Yep. Just how much planning they um how much planning went into their schemes anyway. Really? If you two sleep there, where would I? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, Jita. <laughs> Single bed for three people is too crowded. <laughs> Empty room? I watched the two of them lay down and curl up on the floor of an empty room without even curtains. That's way too pitiful of, of a sight to be called praiseworthy. That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cat girls get this information anyway? from anyways? Well, they probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shigure's room. Chocolate isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books though. I felt like I said that sentence wrong. Whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It 
it still gets pretty cold at night in April, after all. I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. The sofa can fit one person, and there's air condi conditioning in there. If I need it. <laughs> they moved quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. Wow. I placed my, ha my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up. I will sleep on the sofa, and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders. Understood. Oops. I said like that. Said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. They lowered their heads apologetically. They must. They must have doubt. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Their obedience had the exact opposite effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. You hurt, man. That pain left me left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on. Get going. Hi. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. Hi. Oyasumi nasai. I gently rubbed the heads of the two dispirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before came even sharper. You're hurting hard. <laughs> I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay. If it's just for one night, don't worry about it. Now then, go to sleep. Jeez. I really shouldn't act up my emotions, huh? I laid down on the sofa. Sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind or hopeful words, they would all end up end up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. While I continued to pile on as insults and made excuses for my actions, I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. Intermission. <laughs>